so this experiment tells the the heat transfer from pin fin right so you know that uh, the fins are generally used uh, to increase the heat transfer from any surface right so by providing the additional surface area for the heat transfer so there are uh, many applications for the fins like uh, uh, you can uh, you would have seen in the engines right the engines used for your bikes there are fins all around the cylinder heads right so the purpose is to increase the heat transfer Similarly, uh, the domestic refrigerators where you have things like um, in the form of containers and evaporators, where we provide additional area, surface area, uh, to increase the heat transfer. So in this experiment, so you have a fin. It is a cylindrical rod. That's why it's called as pin fin. So that the fin is provided in the rectangular duct. Inside the rectangular duct, here it is there. Inside, if you see from here, inside, so there is a fin is there. Okay, and we have uh, thermocouples that are, that are placed along the length of the fin at different locations, so that we'll be able to find out the temperatures at the different locations. So this experiment is basically conducted to find out the. What is the heat transfer coefficient under forced convection, and what is the effectiveness of the fin, right? And this we are doing at at different flow rates, so that finally we be able to draw a graph between the flow rate in the x-axis and the heat transfer coefficient and the effectiveness in the y-axis. So there is a blower which is there, which is. Uh, Integral part of this setup, right? So you can uh, the blower actually makes air to flow around the fin, right? So you can switch on the blower, right? And also you can uh, control the 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 flow rate of the air, right? Which is uh, flowing across the fin. By operating this, uh, the delivery valve. By operating the delivery valve, we can control the flow rate. And uh, so here is a, there is a heater is provided. So with the help of the heater, you can just heat the fin. And uh, so here we will be asked to uh, do the experiment at a different uh, settings, voltage settings for the heater. So, for example, if you are asked to set the voltage at, uh, let us say, 70 <coughs> voltage, right? So then, with the help of the varia, you can set the voltage to 70, right? Uh, and you can set a particular flow rate by keeping the delivery valve at a particular position. Then, at that particular valve position, at that particular uh, voltage, you wait for some uh, five minutes so that the temperature along the length of the fin becomes steady. So there are uh, turbo couples are provided on the surface of the fin, which can be directly read by the digital indicator over there, right? So the temperature at the various places can be measured with the help of these uh, uh, digital indicators. So you just have an eye on a particular temperature, let us say T1, for example. And uh, wait that temperature T1 becomes steady. Once that T1 becomes steady, maybe you can take all the temperatures. So the last thing gives you the temperature of the ambient. So now the one set of reading is taken. So for a particular flow rate, you are getting the temperatures at different points. And also we need to find out the, the flow rate. So finally we will be drawing a graph between flow rate and the heat transfer coefficient. So if you want to find out the flow rate, so I need a flow measuring device. The flow measuring device used in this experiment is the orifice meter. So you have an orifice meter and which is fitted with an U-tube manometer, right? So there are two points, one below the orifice meter and one after the orifice meter. So I can find out the pressure drop across the orifice with the help of the U-tube manometer. And by noting down the pressure difference, I will be able to calculate the flow rate with the help of the relations that is provided in the manual. So for each voltage settings, 
once the temperatures are stabilized you are taking the temperature readings plus the manometer rate right so then we increase the flow rate suppose you are asked to take some three sets of readings or four sets of readings you just keep at different positions as far as the delivery valve is you just keep on closing it right and you can take some you can maintain some three or four settings and you can take three or four set of readings that's it